Hey, it's weather on demand Tuesday, February 24th, and we look back at a uh, bitter cold Monday. You can see the low temperature was 28 degrees below zero. That just blasts the old record to smithereens of 15 below set back in the 60s. So a record cold day of weather. You put that together, we're about 30 degrees colder than average, and we're basically past the point of no return for February. Put that high together with a cold low. Our average is just under two and a half degrees. That's more than 12. It's about 12 and a half degrees colder than what you would expect for February 2015, and we have more to go, of course, and we expect those bitter cold temperatures. So this is actually colder than uh, February last year. A uh, check on those mild temperatures, though. Some mild start at the 8 o'clock hour, teens, 20s, it's 21 in Copper Harbor. But when we factor in these brisk southwest winds, gusts around 20, 30 miles an hour, that makes it feel much colder, closer to zero, even a few degrees below zero on your exposed skin. So it is still a relatively mild start. We have some good snow falling across central and eastern UP. Kind of some dry uh, air working into the system here. Let's span out a bit. The main center of low pressure is up in Canada, where right now we're in this uh, bit of a warm front. It's just a subtle warm front, and then we have a cold front that'll settle in. You can see the Arctic air already carving out those clear skies over that uh, international border. And we'll be watching some reinforcing moisture here and there, but all in all, the deepest moisture pulls away. Simulated cloud and radar activity you can see as we work through lunchtime into early afternoon, things clearing out of here. And then we have these gusty northwest winds that de develop, and that's going to lead to some blowing snow pretty much any place you are, especially along the exposed areas of Upper Michigan. Now, Lake Superior about 95% frozen over with this Arctic air moving over top of that water, though. Any open leads at all are going to lead to the potential for some lake effect snow. And of course, these gusty winds are going to blow that ice around. And with the wind shifting around becoming northwesterly, they're probably going to be susceptible to some lake effect snow into your Tuesday evening into Wednesday morning. And then we see that bitter cold air moving in more extreme cold times for your Wednesday. More on that in a moment. Mainly cloudy. The best clearing after this front moves through would be well away from Lake Superior. It's an early high and then we fall back. Actually, with sundown, some of the colder places over the Copper Country could be in a single digits above zero. So enjoy the relative warmth while you can if you can stand the brisk winds. And we've got that lake effect snow ongoing along the Superior shoreline east of Marquette through the overnight. That's really the wheelhouse for some of the best snow. I think we may see perhaps three to five inches now into your Wednesday morning. Bitter cold. Uh, some of the colder places could actually be around 15 below for a temperature. Overnight wind chill readings 20 to 30 below by daybreak Wednesday. And these are daytime highs Wednesday. Some of the colder places probably going to hang to uh, around zero, a few degrees below zero. And the best clearing, of course, under the influence of that Arctic high that'll be spreading in would be south and central. And that high pressure ridge, though, conditions are bitter cold. It lends towards more of a tranquil forecast, and that'll be the theme into the end of the work week and temperatures slowly rebound. Next system may skirt the upper peninsula into your Sunday. Try to stay warm, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.